Hey, everybody. Um, tonight's vocabulary homework is going to be, um, I love these. It's called the Would You Rathers, and I really do enjoy these. I think, that, I think it's a great way for kids to connect with um, your words. It's not just you matching the definitions. It's you using them in a practical situation, thinking about these words as it pertains to your life and what you would do, right? And that's a perfect way to understand language, right? When you're immersed in it. And that's what this is. You're immersing yourself in it. Let's take a look really quick at our words one more time. Delightful, witnessed, deficiency, contrived, aroma, offered, spongy, accuracy, timid, phenomenal, interjected, finesse, developing, awestruck, right? All right, so just a quick reminder of how you, would you rather works. It says, would you rather have witnessed a professional sports game live or on TV? Okay, and so we know how this is a great way to practice restating, and I think most of you know how to do it. Who could, who could show me the best way to restate this? Uh, Carly. So it would be, I would, so see what she did there? I would rather witness, right? So she just, she's going to say, she's going to get rid of the suffix. I would rather witness a professional, what? Sports game. No, you don't want to put, which one would you want to do? Is it live or TV? I would rather witness a professional sports game, which one? Live, because... Rather than TV because it's way more fun to be at the game. and Right. Okay, that works. But you see how that works? All right. Because you want to, here's how you understand the word witness. Because in your explanation, you might say something like, I would rather, I would rather see the game with my own eyes rather than from the camera's point of view, right? So... When you say things like, I would rather see the game with my own eyes, you're really understanding then that to witness something means that you're seeing it happen. Mm -hmm. You are a part of it, right? You're not really a witness per se if you're watching it on your TV. I guess you are, but not really, right? All right, so. I don't know that happened. So there you have it, okay? Pretty cool stuff. All right, so you're going to you're going to do your restate. You're going to tell why. You're not going to do it in your observational notes. You're going to do this in your notebook. Right? It's just you have more room and that's where I want you to do six of them. I want you to get it done, do well. All right. So, there's your language homework for tonight. Daryl out.